Um, so it was very predominant on the on the the rest of the stuff that we made you, right? Uh, in this order. Uh, so let's see if you can see it here. So that I believe is a C. Hands foot. N. No, the last one should be a C. A C then? Yeah, it's yeah. a C. Can you see that? It's definitely a C. Oh, okay, it is a C. Good. So C. I wish I had a pen. Give me a pen. Let me point with this. I'm so sorry, my eyes. Yeah, C. Hands foot. C. Can you see how it is? Is the hands foot? Now, if this is not right, we'll redo it. No, I think it's right. It's um, alternating C and hands foot. Um, so on the right, it's hands foot C, hands foot, right? That's oh. what it looks like. Hands yeah. foot. Yeah. Hands foot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, hands foot. It's just the, w the angle and stuff, right? And the reflection of the button. So here, hands foot. C. Mm. And that's definitely hands foot. Mm. Beautiful. Okay, so we good? We are good. Okay, great stuff. So I'll, I'll, I'll pack this up and send it to you later today, okay, brother? Fantastic. I'm grateful to you. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Judy's coming back. Okay. I called him on this morning. Um, no seatbelt today. This girl will disappear. Can you bring it in, Matt? Hey, buddy. How are you? You ready to rock and roll? Absolutely. Okay, so got some interesting stuff to show you. Uh, let's start with uh, the pants, okay? Okay. Okay, great. Just in chrome this Janet, later. Don't screw up. Um. I want to talk about the morning trousers first, okay? Yes. Is the volume on full? Yes. Okay, so remember what I said to you, right? The, before you get extravagant morning trousers or something out of the box, you build your base first. For me, the Ciruti, the Ciruti blazer that I made right. for you, what she's recording, you record also. Follow the thing properly. You know? It's enough. We're 16 months post pandemic. You, know? you guys need to step up. It's just video phones. The surety blazer that I made for you is absolutely iconic, I believe. Okay? Right. I mean, with the amount of time we invested in that, the amount of money spent on it, the quality of the fabric, etc., etc., that can be your morning coat. And I don't give a shit. Right. I don't think anybody can tell you differently. You know what I mean? Who's got a who's right. got a Chiruti Super uh, 180 Turbo jacket, right? Right. You know what I mean? You can buy a, a Moss Brothers morning coat for like 500 sterling. Big deal. We all know what your what your blaze is about. Right. So I think yeah, right. morning trousers are a must, and you have to build your base first before you add before you go out of the box with anything crazy. I looked at a lot of stuff, and I could have sent you a lot of stuff. And I had a lot of stuff piled out yesterday, like so much stuff. And then I was like, you know, why would I inundate him with so many things when he doesn't even have one? So the right. three basic fabrics are these three. The most right. basic being this one. I say basic, that's the wrong term. The most traditional, right? The most classic, right. not basic. This is far from basic. So traditional and classic is that one, followed by these two. Do you have morning trousers in the shop? How do you mean I have no? I have a big bolt of morning fabric, uh, morning trouser fabric somewhere here in the store, but the quality is not like the the VVC one, okay? So that's okay. more like, you know, a Moss Brothers uh, uh, quality. Uh, so right. historically, we've sold that probably the most over the last two decades and even before my time, but uh, I wouldn't wear it myself. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, so, you know what I mean? You sure as hell wouldn't wear it. But to, I just wanted to pull out that big bolt to give you an example okay. um, that they're exactly the same, but this quality is much, right. much, much more finer, okay? okay? So having said all this, which one would you like? You like the most traditional or you want to go a little bit lighter in, in gray? All three will look awesome. 
I would probably drop this, especially living in the United States. The reason being is that in England, right, people will recognize that as morning trouser fabric, okay? In the US, in North America, this will get mistaken for a, for a striped suit, right? right? So I would definitely eliminate that. I mean, I don't think, nobody's gonna misinterpret this for anything else, anything other than morning trouser fabric, right? I mean, this is a morning trials of fabric, but again, in the United States, right, people could misinterpret it. So based on everything I said, my strongest recommendation would be this one. I agree. If I'm going to have a morning uh, morning, tr- morning suit trousers, it, it should be all in on looking like a morning suit. Exactly. So let's go ahead and do the pant in that, okay? Yes. Okay. So these pants will have buckles, of course. You will never wear a belt, okay? Correct. Do you need suspender buttons? Yes. Okay, so just between braces buttons, right? And then, do you want two pleats here, but still keeping the trousers trim? Yes. So I will give you decorative pleats, correct? Yes. Two each also side? Have the, have the leg a little bit more tapered than normal. Okay, just between decorative pleats, not for width, just for decoration, and narrow bottoms, just on this one, okay? Great. Also, the next pair we're going to do now or two. But. Sure. And would you like cuffs on these pants? No. You sure? They're morning trousers. Is that normal? I, I thought they usually don't do cuffs on morning trousers. I think we need to dress this trouser. Okay. Okay, so I'll do cuffs for you, all right? Okay. Okay, just classic cuffs. Not two inches, whatever. We'll stick to one and a half. There's enough going on. Is going to have a fishtail? Yeah, so I'm going to give you a fishtail back. Okay. Okay, you're good with that, right? Absolutely. Anything else you want to say to me? No. Okay, so then the morning trousers, right? We can do any button you like. It doesn't have to be a conventional mother of pearl or horn or bone button. Although this bone button will look nice, right? And this horn button will look nice. So these two buttons will look great, okay? But we can also do a metallic button and uh, in pewter and I believe uh, most of these buttons will look great. Um, I, have a, I have a question for you. Yeah. How about the, uh, the metal buttons I sent you that had the black onyx in them? Okay, but I only need uh, three buttons, so I don't want to break the set. But I have 20 small and five large. You have how many small? 20, I think. So these ones, correct? Yeah, I think I'll get 20, it's like 20 and uh, would that go? That would go, all three would go. Which one do you want to put, the black onyx? Yeah, Chris, yeah. Or do you want to put these so there's more contrast? Um, I think this would be great. Yeah, let's do that. I think there, there's more than enough there. Okay, well, anyways, uh, it's, it's not like uh, the buttons will disappear, right? We can always bring the trousers back, take the buttons off, put new buttons on another day. So let's start with these, okay? Okay. I will take three small buttons from this set. Okay. Take three small buttons from the set. Put a sticker here later on. I want to stick on all of these. How many big, how many small, okay? So we're aware of it. Okay, so that concludes, um, uh, that concludes the morning uh, trouser, okay? Right. We good? Great. Yes. So the next thing is the cotton and cashmere pants. So this collection you know? Yes. And this will be the color, the powder blue. I figure that you have enough darker blue in your wardrobe. Right. I still need, me, my preference is the darker blue. I think I... I after looking at it last night, I want to go with the darker blue. Okay, so then this will be Josephine, don't cut this. Now. It'll 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 be more it'll be more versatile. Sorry. Just write down the number. Also a trouser. Okay. And uh, I will talk to you about the style now. You will get a cutting from them. I don't want to decimate the book. So while I'm making you this cotton trouser, you sure you don't want a matching jacket to go with it? So you have a cotton suit? Uh yeah, I don't need it. I don't need it. No. Okay. So this Not will just be a pan. Yes. Okay, great. So, uh, so the pants, for these cotton pants, would you like belt loops? Like the gentleman's yes, wearing in the picture? Ab- 
abs- absolutely want belt loops and a tapered leg with a little break. Okay, and they'll be they'll be flat front with no cuffs. Correct. Okay, just me. So the Zenia trouser, no fishtail back. Okay. No suspender buttons. Okay. Belt loops, flat front, narrow leg. Okay, so whatever the leg is before, we're going to go half an inch narrower on both new trousers. Okay, just me? Nina, you remember the song, right? Okay, so that concludes this trouser, okay? Absolutely, yep. Okay, except for, for, I forgot, we have to do the buttons. Here's the buttons. What happened to the button? Do you want to use something from your collection for these as well? Or something from mine? Uh, Should we take three from here? Yeah, why not? Okay, so just think. This is the button for the morning trousers. Okay, and we need to keep, keep a record of that. So let's just set up a log saying that we took three here for Art's morning trousers and the order code, so we know what's what, because we don't have a sample for ourselves here. And this one will be for the Xenia trousers, okay? And then we'll record this all on a sticker, or we can just put a piece of paper back into the Ziploc. We'll make sure we keep a record of everything that we're doing. Good records. Okay, great. I'm very, very happy and very, very excited. Thank you so much. Now oh we're going to talk about the shirts, all right? So I'm making you five shirts. Can we focus here? One, two, three, four, five, okay? Three VBC uh, flannels, one VBC wool, and one Zenia cashmere, okay? Right. All right? Here's the VBC flannel. Right. In burgundy. I can get this from AR as well. It's irrelevant. I'm just giving OM some business. You know what I mean? Right. It's very lean times for these guys here, and they're holding a shitload of stock. This is Zenia, of course, and, I, and the distributor is irrelevant. I, I like to give SV business as well, right? Again, it's very right. lean, lean times, and these people are all sitting on stock. And it's all the same. Remember, it doesn't matter who the distributor is, right? Right, right. Uh, so we just give AR this business and keep them going. Okay, beautiful stuff. So all VBC. BBC and BBC, okay? Right. Okay, so you want them cut like the shirts that I've made. I want, I want to, I, I, I want your, your correct answer on that. I mean, your affirmative answer. Cut like the shirts that I've made you. I'm gonna run through the style, but we're not, we're not doing anything different, right? We're making shirts here, correct? Correct. Okay, so these four shirts, you want a semi-spread collar, correct? Yes, because I'm not wearing a tie with them, yes. Okay. So I want to, I just want to step over here for a second. When we first started off together, I believe, but I'm not 100% sure right now that I did this type of collar for you. Correct. Okay. Now. This is a classic Thomas Pink, Charles Tirrett, T.M. Lewin, Lewin, Turnbull and Essa, British collar. Okay, just right. bear with me. Okay. It is not as widespread as what I am wearing. Right. And it is not as widespread as what I've sent you previously, okay? It is a little bit less spread, but it's still not a semi-spread. A semi-spread right. is one of these two, okay? Right. This is what you call a semi-spread collar. This is right. what you call a regular collar. This is an American spread, okay? So right. the semi-spreads come in two categories. The Italian version, which is more soft in, in the way it's cut, and the American semi-spread, which is more rigid in the way it cuts. He's, gonna, he's looking at this stuff the wrong way. You, I've always said WhatsApp in the middle. You guys don't pay attention. I can see it. I can see it. So these are semi-spread collars. Do you like the Italian version or the American version? Uh, 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 Italian version. Okay. So it will be a semi-spread collar, Italian version, built-in collar stays, removable collar stays, or no stays? You want a soft collar, right, with no stays, and let the flannel do the talking? Or you want me to build up the collar for you? No, soft, 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 no stays, maybe 
maybe with the white dog's tooth we can do stays. The dog's tooth, the dog's tooth is a little dressier. Okay, let's go one by one. Okay. So, no pocket on the shirt. Okay. Correct. Split yoke at the back. Correct. Plaque at front. Yes. And then this extra stitching. Yes. Okay, and a barrel cuff. Correct. No cuffling hole. For the flannels, or for the... The only thing that separates itself is the blue. So the blue will be a stiff more collar? Traditional, more traditional dress design. Okay, so a stiff collar. Yes. Turn back French cuffs or uh, uh, barrel cuffs with a cuffling hole? Convertible the barrel cuffs with a cuffling hole. With a metered edge? Yes. Okay. So stiff collar, stiff cuffs? Yes, I also think we were going to do a, uh, a hideaway buttons with a, a front a front placard that covers the buttons. So placket front covering the buttons, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. And and this one will be a soft cuff for the three flannels, yes. correct? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay, great. And this one will have the same collar, correct? Yes. Okay, great stuff. So this stuff is all covered and no no extra coloring or anything, right? Correct. And you want shirt size buttons, correct? Yes. So pearl buttons. If I can get the pearl buttons to work on the flannel. If not, I'll find something appropriate, okay? Right. Okay, excellent. Let's come back to this one now. So again, a semi-spread collar, the Italian version, correct? Yes. Okay. A soft collar. Yes. And then hand stitching on the collar in white, correct? For the burgundy. Just for the burgundy, yeah. We're dealing with just for the burgundy right now. Okay, so here, look. Yes. My collars are all hand stitched. That's exactly what I want. Okay, so hand stitching on the collar in white. And the barrel, yes. And on the barrel in white. One button yes. barrel cuff, soft cuff. Yes. Great stuff. No pocket, double stitch front, buttonhole stitching in white, all the buttonholes in white? Yes. So, uh, yeah. That's a good I don't mind, all or not, or just the top. It's up to you. Okay, so here will be the buttonhole stitch and the button thread in yes. white, okay? Yes. The rest will be burgundy thread, thread. Yes. burgundy buttonholes. Yes. Okay, great stuff. The labeling, you want the VVC label and the Xenia label on the shirts? Yes, on the bottom. On the bottom front here, correct? Yes, absolutely, yes. You guys should remember this, right? Yeah, yeah. Label, 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 label. Okay, so I have concluded. Uh, so uh, we've got here right now a great team who will all participate on this. Uh, let's show them to you. There's Josephine. Hello, There's Durji, Lajit, and Mira. Hi. So I'm going to ask them first. Do you guys have any questions about this? Monogram, no. Okay. Do you want your shirts monogrammed? Yes. Okay. And with gussets? Uh, yeah, yes. The, on the burgundy, you can do the monogram on the barrel itself. All the others on the gusset. Let's, let's go step by step. One second. Okay. Give me a white piece of paper. Here, here, love, take this. Okay, so we're going to do monograms 
on all the shirt cuffs or just the burgundy? The, the, on the burgundy, I want it on the gusset and on the shirt cuff. Okay, so starting with the burgundy, you have a monogram right. on the shirt cuff right. and the gusset. Correct. And the monogram right. is in white? Correct, yes. And the initials? Uh, we'll do ASF. ASF on the cuff and ASF on the gusset or just AF on the gusset? AF on the gusset. So ASF on the cuff, AS on the gusset, okay? And then the other four shirts, do you a want mono? AS. Excuse me, AF. And the other four shirts. A is an apple, F is in Frank. Got you. The other four okay. shirts, you just would like monograms? Just on the gusset. Uh, yes. Okay, so gusset, monogram, AF, okay? Do you need contrasting gussets for the same? Uh, it's, it's not necessary, the shirt speaks for itself. Okay, so what color thread the monograms here? White, white, yellow, dark blue, White, white, dark blue, and the other one, maybe a golden color, maybe? So gold on the blue? No, no, uh, dark blue on the blue. So gold here and dark blue? Yeah. Okay, great. But no monograms on the cuffs here. Got it. No, right. Questions? No questions? Art, anything you want to tell me? By the way, the, uh, the black houndstooth shirt. Yeah. Uh, if you have anything that you have in mind, maybe you want to swap out. This might be a last minute thing. I like it, but th that was that was a dealer's choice with Tarzan. And uh, I like it, but it might be, I already have the gray. So, so it's I like this. Have, I like I this. I already have gray. Well, I like this blue. Oh, let's do that. Let's swap that out instead of the uh, um, houndstooth. Okay. So we're going to change this shirt to this. And then we'll stick with white initials because the white will come up great on that. Yes. Let's cut that right here. Okay. Good. And I would maybe do white uh, initials on the cuff as well. Yes. Let's do it. Okay. Sorry for the audible. Sorry for the no. audible. This is what we do. Okay, excellent. So this will also be in white, everything. Okay, great. Yeah. Absolutely awesome. Uh, let's uh, change. Uh, you think white stitching is better or gold? Actually, gold would look good. Excellent. Great stuff. What else do you, would, would you like to say to me? That's it. And nothing except else? I, except, I, except I hope you're well. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I got a stacked day, absolutely stacked. Good for you. Great stuff. Thank you so much. God bless you. Uh, Tarzan, Lavjeet, Mira, Josephine, they're going to uh, talk to you a little bit later once they get their heads around these things, okay? Thank you so much. God bless you, my brother. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, bye. Set me up over there. Okay, uh, actually got a lot of work to do today. Um, so I don't know if I can really sit around and, and do many questions, but I always feel as though I owe you guys a little bit of time with me. 
Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my this phone free, uh, and I'm going to only do the the Q and A on TikTok. Um, so I hope you'll forgive me instead, and I hope you'll come onto TikTok. So thank you, Taylor, for the love. I don't want you guys to misunderstand. This is not like cotton flannel. This is wool flannel. This is the real deal. This is all Vitali Bar Barberis and Zenia, right? Art always takes stuff to the to the new the next level, just to the next level art stuff, right? I mean, he's a legend. I mean, art is a legend. Absolutely incredible stuff. Any other questions? The shirts are going to be off the hook. Thank you for the love. I'd love to. Wool doesn't shrink. It's a silly question. Cotton shrinks, linen shrinks. Wool doesn't shrink. Come join me on TikTok for some questions. Thank you instead. <laughs> 